Today I'm going to show you a video so that you can see how to create a parent account. So the first thing you need to know is that you need to have already the Class Dojo app on your phone downloaded. Um, and just a little heads up, this is a tutorial for downloading the parent uh, or creating a parent account on Dojo using a an Android, okay? My phone specifically a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Um, but I believe this should be the same process for all Androids. So now that I have the application class Dojo, I'm just going to click on it. It's the first thing you want to do before even creating a parent account. Um, and then out of these four options, you're going to choose where it says I am a parent and there's a little blue circle with a house on it. So you're going to go ahead and click on that. Okay. And then at the new screen that pops up, you're going to look at the bottom where it says create parent account. It's in uh, white letters with a blue background. You're going to click on that. And now you're going to enter a email and password. Uh, make sure that this is one that you will check and that it's a password that you will remember easily. You don't want to just put in a password that you're going to forget because that'll just bring you a lot of trouble. I just created this email so that I can show you... Um, just for this so I could show you how to make a student account, a parent account. And a password that I will remember. Okay, now if you have an Android, usually at the bottom it should, um, this little box should pop up asking if you want to save your password. I highly recommend it if you're going to be um, logging back in several times onto Dojo from this device, from this phone. It just makes it quicker and easier for you to access it because you won't be having to type in your username and password every time. Um, as long as you're just clicking on the app for Dojo, it'll take you straight to your account as a parent. Um, I'm not going to save it because I need to log on back onto my teacher account, but you should do so if you can. Next, uh, it asks if you want to put a picture of yourself. You can if you want to. You don't have to. Um, it's really not necessary, so I'm just going to click on skip for now, okay? And now you can see that I am on Dojo, however, I don't really have access to anything yet because I still need to connect my account to my child's, right? So I just created a parent account, and my child already has a class Dojo account as well, but I need to connect mine to theirs specifically. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the bottom part of the screen. It's on the bottom right. There's a blue cross and it says add child. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Um, and I am going to add child um, using code. Now in here, you see where it says EGP and then the numbers one through six. That's where you input your code. Um, I am going to input the code for my uh, made-up child, Julia Roberts, and her code that my teacher sent me, um, um, Ms. Clark, is PRGVTB8CF. Okay, and then I'm going to click on check code. Mm hmm PRG VTB 8 CF check code. Something went wrong. Please try again. That's odd. Let's see. Find teacher. I'm going to try to find teacher this way. If your code doesn't work, um, then this is another way to find the teacher. If not, I mean, if it does work, then you're all set. Miss Clark. Well, there might be a lot of Miss Clarks on here. Let's look up the school. Richard Riordan. There we are. And so after typing in Richard Riordan, which is the name of our school, you should have all the teachers that are using Dojo on a list pop up. And so coincidentally, our, our class is the first one to pop up. So you will see Camille Clark. That's moi, your teacher. And then you input your child's name. So this is not um, the most common way to add a child, but it is what you would do if you, for whatever reason, don't have the code or have the wrong code. Um, in the section where I showed you how to input the code, if you already were able to put that in and the system accepted it, 
you are set. There's not much more that you need to know um, in terms of how to create a parent account and, and join it to your child's. There are other functionalities of Dojo that I will be teaching you in other tutorials, but um, in terms of this, that's all you need to know. So anyway, going back to this, which is pretty much troubleshooting for those of you who don't have the code or have the wrong one, you input your child's name, and this basically sends a request to the teacher to connect you. Um, so now that I wrote my child's name, Julia Roberts, I'm gonna click on request to connect. And as soon as my teacher, Ms. Clark, sees this request, she will click on accept and you will have access to your child's account. And um, you will also have access to your own parent account, which is really great. And that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if um, you were able to understand all the different processes, all the different steps, I'm sorry. And if you still have any questions, message me either through Remind, email, or Dojo messages. Have a good one.